Hey folks, a beautiful day across the valley today, but for tomorrow, really tomorrow night, the Storm Prediction Center has put us into the marginal risk of severe weather. You look at this big picture and it shows this mint green area. That's where there's just a general risk of thunderstorms, but you look at the western part of the valley all the way up to Del Rio under this category one, which is marginal, about a 5% probability of something severe in the valley, probably some hail. Again, about a 5% probability. Typically that number is zero, so when it goes up at all, we show up in here. This is category one on a scale of one to five. So just that slight risk north of us in the eastern part of the valley. Yes, the possibility of some thunder showers, but not severe. So just a slight chance is one of those things that tomorrow we should pay attention to it, especially as we get into tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. Not much happening today. For the most part, sunshine, some high clouds beginning to spill into the valley, some showers and thunderstorms popping up off to the west. This is tomorrow morning. This is two o'clock in the afternoon. Cool front makes its way into the region. Dew points are coming up. Moisture levels are coming up. Instability starting to show up. Things that could trigger those isolated showers or thunderstorms. Now you notice by 1 a.m. It shows everything moving down into Mexico and that is probably the most likely scenario. Maybe kind of clipping or sideswiping. Maybe Star and Hidalgo counties and then by the time you get to Willisie and Cameron, much less activity. But even that out here in the west. This shows it all stays south and that's certainly a possibility. Behind that front then Thursday clouds stick around much of the day in the morning. There could be a leftover shower or two and then we're just mostly cloudy most of the day on Thursday that will keep temperatures down a little bit. So for tomorrow evening and tomorrow night we bump the chance for that shower thunderstorm up to 50% a slight chance something severe could come out of that, but at least showers are, are a good bet something. And then early Thursday morning, leftover stuff, and then by Friday we dry out. Look at the temperatures. It's over 90 in the western half of the valley right now. Edinburgh's 92. That's the warm spot in McAllen and Rio Grande City at 91. Everybody else but the coast in the 80s. Overnight tonight, we bottom out in the upper 60s and low 70s once again. 70 at the beach, 70 in McAllen. Then tomorrow, back up in the upper 80s and low 90s. And this is the time of year you warm things up like that, bring a front into that air mass and that gives you that chance for a shower or a thunderstorm. 88 tomorrow front comes in. We're 80 on Thursday and then back to 82 on Friday. So we go back below average once again. Look at the rest of Texas and you find the front. It's 93 in Odessa and 47 in Dalhart. Front sitting right there pushing southward. You can see there's a lot of cloud cover with that front. Front will push southward, eventually get into the valley. That'll happen again late tomorrow night, early in the morning on Thursday, shower thunderstorm with it. And then after that, we dry things out for the rest of the week. So for tonight, 68 for a low, partly cloudy and mild. Easterly winds about five to 10. Then for tomorrow during the daytime, partly cloudy, very warm, 88. But late in the day, in the evening or tomorrow night, there's that chance for a thunderstorm. East southeasterly winds at 7 to 15. So most of the day during the daytime is dry. Tomorrow night, that chance for a thunderstorm carries over into early Thursday. Could be a couple of showers early, maybe some late day sun, but not a lot. Friday looks terrific. Then over the weekend, some clouds come back in. You know, any of these days over the weekend, there's enough cloud cover. I can't completely rule out a stray shower, but most areas should stay rain free over the weekend. That is your updated First 1-5 forecast.